We're at Media Days in Chicago, and I am joined by what Northwestern head coach Pat Fitzgerald. And coach, first of all, let's talk about your quarterback situation. Three guys in the race. Can you break down each one of them for me? Strengths and weaknesses. Well, we'll talk strengths. Uh, Zach Oliver, experienced, has started a game for us. Um, has watched multiple quarterbacks have success, uh, and, and is hungry for the job. Has been incredibly patient. Uh, Matt Alvidi is a dynamic playmaker, was uh, that way in high school uh, and has continued on that way uh, as we've moved forward through his career. Very hungry to play, very disciplined, very focused. Um, and, and Clayton Thorson uh, is very similar in that aspect to Matt, uh, just a little bit bigger tall, height-wise. Uh, both guys throw it well, both guys run it well. And I think the hallmark of Clayton is his humility. He's a very humble young man. Very respectful young man, and, and um, you know I think all three have got the skill sets to help us move the ball, and look forward to watching it progress. When do you plan on naming a starter? Yeah, well, you know we've been down this road before, um, and sometimes it plays itself out earlier in camp. That would be awesome. <laughs> I don't anticipate that because it didn't happen in spring, but if it did, that would be great. And then from there, um, we'll just take it day by day. And if there's a separation, then obviously. Uh, we, we can make that. But we'll, we'll know internally probably before we say anything, you know, externally. Moving to the other side of the ball, you lose Chi-Chi Araguzo. I know a leader of your defense, but now you've had time to look back at that defense. Where do you think the biggest changes need to come from? Where do the biggest improvements need to be made? Yeah, we've got to affect the quarterback. I mean, we've got to sack the quarterback more. And we, we make a tape called Close But No Cigar. When we get close to the quarterback but we don't hit him, we don't sack him, and a play is made out of it. Um, and, and we've got to improve there. Uh, we, we've got to improve, I think, from a standpoint of creating turnovers. When we created turnovers, we won football games last year. And then lastly, it's just putting the pieces of the puzzle together. You know, through graduation, you lose a Campbell, you lose an Araguzo. I can keep going on with names. Uh, but we've got an experienced secondary, experienced defensive line, and, and looking forward to watching it progress. I'm going to throw you off here. Do you think you could still line up at linebacker? Do you think? I, I could be like VH1. I could be a one-hit wonder. I got, I've got one maybe three-step drop in where I could run to the ball. But, no, I, you know. People ask me, so do you still work out? With no, I have too much personal pride. I do not work out with the team. Uh, but it's, it's great to, you know, definitely be in this profession. keeps you young. And uh, just really proud of our guys. They've had a long off season. They're ready for the season to start and looking forward to getting things kicked off here in a week.